Three, two, one, let's go. God, I forgot how long this beginning was. I forgot I did that. I thought I went back to the, the um, the title screen for a second. This is a green card. Let's hack it. Oh, shoot. I forgot it. That's garden. First. What a waste of my time. And because of that, he gets the heal. Twice. I'm gonna waste my time again. Alright, we wanna get in one more fight before we go to the next. He will just enough to. Oh. This is a defense turn two. There's defense.
Good, good, good. This is a very bad for this section. That's actually crazy horrible. But we have the speed we need, so I can't complain. But I do want one more battle. She gets a chance to attack. Now I need another battle. Alright, he'll just heal after this first attack, so. I need to get a chance to attack again. And then we'll go ahead and start working on agility for later. Probably should put that in health there. To be quite honest. It doesn't matter what I do. Because he's just going to keep guard until he can attack. It's the first run, I don't care if I die there. I just hate how long the transitions are. <laughs> I think I'll have brain blue by the time that I get to that fight at this point.
Okay, so I need 25 agility for the next boss. Right, so we're gonna do that. I just barely outpace with that agility stat. <laughs> hey, rotten. And I went into this with too low health, as always. But this goes, so. Yep, new game. Need to heal health, so we're going to take this fight. Um, and save before it. This is the wrong building. Yeah, Stand Still Girl. This is probably one of my new favorite games that I've played. You haven't noticed Brain Blue is an amazing attack. Basically necessary. Not what I meant to use, but it works. Uh, extra inputs. Extra inputs. I actually needed that item for the boss fight. Damn. Pretty much. And that's the item we need. That we're going to be using for quite a while, honestly. Did I get normally like brain blue? Yeah, I'm, I get that every single time I play through this game. Because it's super easy to get. The main issue with it is the drawback of using it. I need a level. I need to get one more fight before I do this next one. Uh, it costs health and requires, um, Two clocks in order to be able to kill. Okay. 
Or not kill, but attack. As this is a turn-based game, it plays a lot like Final Fantasy in a way. Kind of annoying in that own right. Um, I don't know if this kills with this strength. Nope, it barely doesn't. Yeah. You'll learn that the most powerful attacks have a decent drawback to them. So, like, you can see the EC at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. That, um, indicates, you know, all sorts of stuff. But for right now, what that means is that I. You can only use certain attacks when you have a certain number of clocks. Like, for instance, the normal attack requires one, Brain Blue requires two. and so on and so forth down the line. Um, there are some attacks that don't require any. There's only one that I use, but I barely use it. So, it's not really important. Too important, at least. Um, Alright, so I need to get into a fight real quick. I need to get in with that little bird thing. The clocks appear every single turn, unless the enemy uses uh, an attack called Invert, which will decrease the amount, um, which will take away the one that you get every turn. And then there's one by what is the true final boss. It'll use something called E Horde, which takes them takes them all away, no matter how many you have. And one more agility. <clears throat> I think that agility point makes me outspeed or speed tie. I don't remember. I think 30 speed ties and I think 31 outspeeds. I was playing this again last night. I know I need 44. Oh, perfect. Okay, 31 does outspeed. Um, well, my practice run was an hour and a half, um, but that was a while ago. Uh, I'm gonna guard again. Okay, I'm gonna guard one more time. Because of this attack coming up later. But I cannot guarantee you that that is how long this run will be. With the luck I'm getting, I'm imagining it's going to take longer. That's actually a really good thing for him to use. That won't kill. And I'll use Pain Blade for good measure. Because I can't guarantee Shock would have killed from that range. Oh, it is, because you actually get to choose when, um, you get to choose what stats you level up. This isn't, there's not a leveling system. You get force, which is basically your experience every battle, and then you get to allocate where it goes. Um, the run basically hinges on an item you get in the third area. Um, it's basically required to get. It's called the circlet, and I have three chances to get it, and I need to get, of course, I need to get it first try, but as long as I get it in one of those three, we're good to go. The problem is, the third area is not the next split, it's the split after. Um, as you can see, Time Premiere is actually a practice section. It's not pure RNG, um, it's the order you do the fights in. Uh, gives you a better chance of getting it. Like, generally, 
there's a high probability that you get after the first fight. If you don't get it after the first fight, then it's a lot more RNG. Um, the final boss, which I'm not doing in this run, there's actually three endings. Um, I'm doing ending one. Um, but ending three is the hardest uh, one in the run. Oh, wrong thing. Um, by a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. We're just gonna go ahead and get this to the 40. And that helps me outspeed literally everything. Ex well, not literally. I think all but one thing in the next coming section. I could be wrong. It might help me outspeed everything. But the thing is, is that I can't go into that section to go get the thing early, early, because you do not have the strength nor the agility to be able to get it, uh, to beat the fight that you need to be able to get it at. So, you're put into a predicament where you kind of can't go get it yet. If I could, I would, because it would, um, of course, be very beneficial to have. It gives you extra experience. 50% more experience. It's still in guard. This won't kill. This should, though. Yep, I should have healed. The good thing is that, um, the... One of the mechanics I like is that every fight that you go into, if you're not at full health, you get some back. So you don't have to heal as constantly. So you'll see me go into fights randomly, it seems, but it's to get health back. Weak isn't a bad thing to have on me, um, especially at lower levels. Um, you'll see that every green thing gives me an item. Um, some of them are super beneficial, some of them not. Um, I only use two throughout this run. Um, in ending three, I use three of them. Yeah, force is important. I'm not going to fight that blue one just yet. I actually do the blues in reverse order. I do the greens in the f uh, front order, except for one. So with how low my health is, which is part of the reason why I haven't been leveling it up, um, hopefully will cause the blue enemies to use a certain attack that I need, because you can only use certain attacks if they're used against you, or you can only get certain attacks if they're used against you. Um, Brain Blue, which is the strongest attack I can use right now, doesn't require... Oh, I got it. Sweet. I don't know how I got it so fast, but I did. So now I don't have to worry about it. Oh, I thought that was definitely one I had to get used against me. And as you just saw, I outpaced that enemy twice. Um, when you have a certain amount of agility, you actually completely outpace certain enemies entirely. Alright, so... No, that's going to be equipped right there. We're actually going to do this one. Yeah, that looks about to change. Trust me. So I'm going into this fight with very low health, as you'll see. It actually manipulates the attacks that the enemy uses. Oh, I got a weak hit on it. Sweet. And it used Nervous Breakdown. Oh, that's that doesn't have a chance to kill me. That had a very low chance of killing me, actually. It's not supposed to use charge turn one. That's alright then. Uh, 
Um, so the down, so nervous breakdown is actually a very interesting attack. What it does is it hits the enemy um, for a very strong attack. Obviously, part of the reason why I use it. Um, it can hit them with the weak status. Certain enemies have a higher chance of having it land on them than others. Um, there are certain bosses that basically can't be affected by it at all. Um, but the problem is, is it, not only does it cost two and a use charge, and it's not supposed to use charge. Um, not only does it cost two clocks, it actually costs ten health to use. Alright, I guess we'll level up health. I sh I'm kind of frustrated, actually. But that's the downside to Nervous Breakdown, is it costs 10 health to use. Yeah, it's deep, especially in the early game. It just has its benefit of being able to cast weak on enemies. So... Health... Actually, I can do health one more time. Yep. And then I'll get one more fight because I need my health to go back up. So Spirit Thorn's a good move. Um, because... Um, it doesn't require any clocks. It only requires health to use. Um, but I won't be using that in this in this fight. So even though they guarded, which does about half damage, the possibility of having weak being put on them is actually way necessary. I will use... I'll use Aura. They'll probably just use Nervous Break down there. Okay. Figured as much, but I didn't get weak hit on me, so... Now the good thing um, is that you can't die from weak damage. which is vitally important, especially um, for later parts of the run. I think it's this one. No, I don't want to fight that. It's not the one I want to talk to. So I fight every single pretty much every single fight that can give me something. I fight every green cog. Um, for experience. I need to talk to this one. That's very unusual for it to... Oh, there we go. We ended weak on it. I want it to use charge this turn, but it's not guaranteed. And the hit. Of course it hits me with weak. But aura is really good because... At lower levels it effectively gives you max health back. And weak doesn't stack. So, the other thing is that Nervous Breakdown and Brain Blue basically do the same amount of damage. You're just using Nervous Breakdown for, um, to get the weak status. Oh yeah, that feels crazy. 
Um, there is a better version of Aura, but I don't use it because because it requires um, a little too much to use it. And by a little, I mean a ton. Um, it requires you using a full clock bar of four in order to use it. Ah, good, we cleaned it. Yep, that's what it needed to use. Um, I don't think shot kills from here. Yeah, very costly. Alright, so I expect to die like five times during this section right here. And that is not an exaggeration, honestly. I will be using, um... Nervous Breakdown against this next boss. Um... It, weak has a very low chance of landing on certain bosses. This is not an exception, actually. Um, I don't need the agility here to outpace, but I will need it for the next boss. The actual story? Okay, so you play as a girl who's completely lost her memory. Um, you'll learn a little bit more later. But that's basically the premise of it. She's trying to regain her memories. Ooh, weak landed turn one. That's actually really, really good. But he used Nightmare, which is actually really, really good. Oh, wait, it didn't have the bad side effect. Cool. That'll kill me, though. Yep. So you may be like, why am I only going to this fight with 70 health? Nightmare has a chance to actually you uh, have a bad effect called Dizzy, um, which, which makes you not be able to heal. <laughs> actually probably should be equipping the Joy Flower and just leaving um, He's probably gonna get dizzy on this because I did this. Oh, he didn't. Sweet. He's gonna guard. Gives me a turn to heal, which I will use. The thing about ore is it costs two clocks as well to use. Uh, he's probably gonna get dizzy this turn. Yep. I will guard to waste one of the turns of dizzy. So, status ailments do not um, stack, which is amazing, really beneficial. So when it comes to aura, I will actually be healing pretty much as soon as I can. If he uses Nightmare again, I'm dead. I mean, I'm basically- oh shoot, I should've used aura. He's gonna kill me now. Great. That's my fault. And I can't heal. Damn it. That was actually a super low roll. He actually should have killed me that turn. I'm gonna... Mm, 70 health works. So I'm just gonna rank up my attack damage. I'm gonna be like, that's quite enough. So, if I go, if I do bad, if I do ending three, oh yeah, this is a super risky fight. If I do ending three, I actually completely don't care about my health at all. I just need to have it to where my agility is 100, um, and my, uh, I use brain blue the first attack. That's to manipulate bolt lightning being used. <laughs> I 
Which, while it's a strong attack, doesn't actually put a status element on me. We're gonna guard again. Here's Nightmare. I'll just hope that he doesn't get dizzy. Good. Guarding, um, you have a less chance of status ailments being put on you. And he uses Nightmare. Good, yeah, does it didn't put He needs to use Spirit Thorn. Just enough. It could have done 10. But I always beat this fight at 70 health. The thing that sucks is that 40, or 43 agility doesn't mean I'll be able to ever outpace him twice at the speed I'm doing this fight. If I think I think I need 50 to be able to do an outpace twice. He's gonna use Nightmare this turn. I probably should have just guarded it again, but I didn't want to have the possibility of Dizzy being landed. <laughs> if, if Dizzy lands, this fight's over. <sighs> I need Weak to land so badly. And it didn't. This was this isn't a full heal. Oh wow, I did 65. That's actually really good. It's actually really lucky not getting the status ailment put on me. Oh I did outpace him. Oh sweet, okay. I shouldn't have been able to. Okay, weak. Good, good, good. He'll use um Oh. He's programmed to do that. So Death Sickle is an automatic death if it lands. <laughs> it doesn't matter how much health you're at. I probably should be ranking up my attack. I'm doing this fight a little too safe. I normally just attack, attack, attack. He's programmed to use Death Sickle after a while. I, I do have to heal here. That's why. What the hell? That didn't kill? I'm dead anyway. That kills. I should've healed. What the hell? <sighs> okay, I don't know how that didn't kill me, but it didn't. I seriously have beaten death with this exact loadout. I don't know why it's being this annoying right now. And I've done it in one try before. That's... That's the annoying thing, is I've been able to kill him quickly like this. Uh. Good thing this is just a prelim run. I guess I'll put more on health. I might not have... I could have just waited to get more agility. Honestly. Because 40 was just enough. The 43 just means that there'll be a turn where I can... Um, outpace him twice. There, 
right, we're gonna try this. 72 health and 50 attack. <clears throat> there is one fight in particular that's actually really fun to do. Um, it's the fourth boss. And... It's actually a really funny fight. Battle... Do a lot of damage. <laughs> the thing that sucks is that enemies actually have patterns that they follow for attacks, but if it, it changes basically depending on how much health you have. So there's some things that work one way when you have um, less health, but if you have more health, then it changes the whole scheme of the fight. Good, he got weak. We need a weak to be put on him. Um, the first time I used the attack there. Yeah. We're gonna use Brain Blue this time. It does effectively the same damage. Heal. Um. So... Sweet. Okay. Finally. And if he wasn't in guard, that actually had a chance to kill him. No, he got Nightmare. I got Nightmare, which is really good. Though it doesn't actually matter. Because I don't use it. And the funny thing is, my very first playthrough, um, I actually forgot to get an item. And I was wondering why it took me uh, three days in order to beat the game. It's because I literally forgot to get an item. So the thing is, I can do this section also at low health. So I lose a lot of damage. And this is, that agility is 100% necessary. We're gonna go ahead and save. Um, so that item gives me more experience whenever I win fights. I'm not high enough uh, in damage in order to kill that thing in one hit. Gives me 50% more experience. Oh, I forgot this thing outpaces me. Good, I need a weak one.
the next item I get um, should be the cat eared cape, which is a very beneficial um, thing in casual playthrough, but it's not necessary in a speedrun. No, I'm not gonna fight him. Usually I would, I'm not going to. Why would he guard? That doesn't make any sense. Still not a one-hit KO. That's crazy. So 52 agility outpaces a decent amount of stuff in this area. Oh no, gave me scholar glasses. Huh. Forgot about that odds. Of course he would guard. So the reason I fight green cogs is because they have a chance for those enemies to give a ton of bonus experience. Like they can drop bonus force instead of an item. I need 60 agility in order to, I think, speed tie the uh the boss in this section. Oh yeah. Cat-eared cape. So what the cat-eared cape does is every turn it gives you, I think, one-tenth of your health back. Completely unnecessary for a speedrun, but... Or at least you, you think it would be. Um, in a casual, it's actually pretty good to have, but... In a speedrun, it's actually completely unnecessary, because there's better items you can get. I'll have the circlet. Like, as you saw there, I can get 100, I got 182 experience. That thing normally gives you, I think, like, uh, 120 something. So I don't fight that cog yet. In my casual playthrough, I actually didn't worry about agility, and then I realized how much agility truly mattered in the very end of the game. It matters a ton. Just a, like, a, a ton. Hey man, thanks for the host. How much does it need to do? Oh, I can get that, sweet. Oh, you won't be missing much, so just... I probably could've just guarded there. Glad I healed. Um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to do a fight. He's gonna guard this turn, I figured. Let's guard again. Then. I might need 65 to outpace um, the boss.
Oh, that's not good. <laughs> it's not good at all. Um, we'll fully heal. And that is probably the worst thing that could have happened. And here we go. We're going to get into a fight intentionally. I mean, it's not really my choice whether I get into a fight or not, but... <coughs> He's in guard again. For another turn. That's actually the last enemy I want to fight. I don't want to fight that one. That's the one I want to fight. I want to fight the ant. He won't guard. He'll use weak. Which is how I want it played, honestly. Not the thing I wanted to see turn one. The thing I got. <laughs> this should kill. I'll need the health later on, but not right now. Concentration. It's not a really good thing for him to use, but... We actually want him to use Spirit Thorn. And not Brain Blue. Um, the reason why we prefer... Um, Spirit Thorn is because it does less damage and still costs health to use. Also, Brain Blue does a ton of damage. We want him to use Concentration. I think like two or three times. Because Concentration, while it does give him more damage, um, it costs five health for him to use. And we can potentially get weak casted on him. So we're gonna guard this turn. That was a good choice. Very good choice by me, actually. Oh, that's not good. If Invert lands, that's not good at all. Oh, it didn't matter. Hmm. 
love how in practice I made this fight look so easy, and now that I'm actually doing runs, this fight looks so difficult. I need him to use concentration. <clears throat> That'll kill me. Even without concentration. It landed invert too, which is not what I wanted. Right, we'll do... We'll, we'll work on health. I beat a lot of these enemies first try. In practice. Oh, of course that lands invert. I'm glad this is a pre preliminary run. I mean, I'm gonna need the health and stuff anyway, but that's not something that I really want to work on right now. I want to work on that after I beat this boss. on it now because the game wants me to. Um, I'm gonna do one more fight to get back to max health. The circle is an amazing uh, thing. It means I had to gr grind less to get my stats up. <clears throat> I need him to use concentration so badly. He's gonna use in prison, I think, this time. I know he's spirit thorn again. Um, we're gonna guard. Beautiful. There we go, concentration. That's what we wanna see. I can never get weak to land on him. That would change the whole fight. Yeah, I know. I've already lost this fight like four times. Trying to guard again. Good to use concentration this turn. It's actually what I want to see. And... Uh, good amount of kill. So the, the good thing is, is my, um, my agility is high enough to where I can outpace them. Oh yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be pretty normal to lose in a run. Okay, good concentration is actually really good. It costs health for him to use. 
Um, I can get weak to land on him, but it's a very low chance. <laughs> and... But that's why I'm still using, um, Nervous Breakdown. He's gonna use... Oh, he didn't use it. Interesting. I expected him to use, um, Imprison. His concentration again. This has a chance to kill. Very minimal chance, but a chance nonetheless. And now he's dead. Sweet. This fight gives me like 3,000 experience or something like that. Ooh, anti pain. That doesn't matter one bit. If I ever get a run where I don't die, I'm never doing this game again. Or at least that category again. Yeah. Um, I probably should grind more. But the thing is, is... I try to say, hey, I've done this in practice, I can definitely do this in a run. But then I try to do what I did in practice, and it doesn't work in a run. So... Alright, so this next section is pretty annoying. I guarantee you I will mess up the movement like four or five times. I need my agility to be 70. Alright, my health at 100, my agility at 70. I need it to be 75 before I do the next fight. <clears throat> and I need it to be 90 before I go into the final, what will be the final boss of this run. Another reason why I want my agility so high is so I can um, outpace certain enemies in, in here because there are enemies that are super fast in this section. And so if I can't outpace them, then I'm in pretty big trouble. Oh yeah, and this thing has a joy flower, which is exactly what we don't need it to have. There we go. So the funny thing is, is um, whenever I do a an ending three run, which will be a little while before I do that, because it's going to be a terrible run, like a horrible run. Um, oh, we got blind. This is exactly what we don't want. Oh, but it landed. Okay, good, 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 good. I don't really care if invert lands. I need my blind thing to go away. I'll heal because my next my basic attack will kill next turn. Oh I got stray sheep. I will get lost in this section, just so you know. It is a pretty much guarantee, and I hate this enemy. This enemy sucks so bad. Their chance of getting weak landed on them is very low, so whenever it actually does land, it's actually hugely beneficial, especially turn one. And the other thing is they're slow. But the thing that sucks the most is that I think all of the enemies in here that are on COGS actually um, have the ability to heal themselves with an item. Oh, please don't land the invert. Shit. The invert is not good. He's gonna use it again. Don't land the invert. Thank you. And yes, I will be guarding a lot. On purpose. <laughs> it's to stall. One. And two. Uh, I need to go... <laughs> I 
Like I said, every enemy, pretty much every enemy has an item that they can heal with. And charge does so much damage. Nervous Breakdown is the way to go. I could heal, but I need to kill this enemy. Put a little bit on agility and then the rest on health. I'm just gonna put it on agility now so I don't have to worry about it later. Also, so I, actually, this is a great enemy to, out, to outrun. And it landed weak, of course it would. Why wouldn't it? Concentration. So concentration is your best friend. It's also your worst enemy at the same time. Um, so concentration is good for the for an enemy to use because um, they take damage and they also don't get to attack that turn. The only problem is that they get a chance. They raise their attack. Um, And that's really not that bad. Um, we are going to do agility. I will probably die to this fight. Because I'm going in with not max health. You'll use charge. I really need weak to land on it. Oh, blind. Okay, good, I didn't land. I'm a heal. So the, the interesting thing about this run is that critical hits are not really a thing. They really aren't. Um, it's okay if he uses the pleasure fruit. I need to heal, because if Invert lands, I lose all my thing. Actually, I could've just guarded, then healed. And of course, Invert lands. Awesome. <laughs> okay, good, weak landed. Um... Burn and guard, and then I'll use Brain Blue. Unless Invert lands here. Which one? Oh no, he dies here. Alright, sweet. But you see why agility is so important. And that's not what I want to see. Blind is the last thing I need to see. Agility is beyond important. Because it helps me outpace so many enemies. Evil flame. Good at guarded. This should kill easily. There we go. So there's a cog here. Yeah, right here. This enemy is actually not that big of a deal. It can use regenerate, but the weak does more damage. Or will end up doing more damage over time. I don't remember what that item does, actually. Don't blind me. Shit. <laughs> Just land weak. Of course. Leave it to my luck. Just 
fucking guarded. He's dead. Um, health, agility. Cause I think I need 75 to outpace um, this enemy coming up. Not this one, but um, the final bo or the boss of this area. Good, it didn't land. Okay. Um. Didn't get weak on it. That's okay, I guess, for right now. If invert lands, which it does a lot of the time, um, I lose all my clocks. We got landed, that's actually really good, but he's gonna heal. He'll be able to die next turn, I think. I think. And yeah, I know, I did the fights in a really weird order. I'm just gonna kill it. If it hadn't done that much damage, I would've just, uh, healed. And then I will need speed for the next section, so I won't. I'll just put it on agility. The next section will be all about um, speed and damage control. Answer that later. Um, guard, heal. Good, 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 good. <laughs> no, not enough. Alright, so this fight is interesting. This enemy, um, in practice, used concentration six different times. The other thing about it was is actually able to get it to be hit with weak. So I was able to stall it out. <laughs> yeah, I know, I don't know either. Crap, it hit me with blind. I'm just gonna go for it. Didn't hit. So the good thing is, is if it doesn't hit, you don't take the damage. I didn't mean heal. I love when it adds extra inputs to what I do.
Still didn't land weak, which is not good. <clears throat> Gotta use that concentration. Didn't land, cool. So, the thing about concentration is, for certain attacks, it doesn't really help a whole lot. Oh, of course it lands Invert. Like, Stray, stray Sheep actually doesn't do a whole lot of damage. To begin with. We're just gonna try to hit this attack. It landed. Didn't get weak though. And Stray Sheep is gonna do some damage. Gonna guard concentration. Which is what we want to see. Heal. So while this fight does take a while, you're gonna see a pretty decent um, fight in the sense of it's gonna take probably only one try. And if that attack had landed when I didn't have any any health, that would have definitely killed me. Concentration, and now he's dead. And that's why this fight is so easy. So it took 32 turns, but I didn't die. Uh, And that fight can be incredibly long. I don't know if um, Dante actually highlighted that section, but there's um, I was routing this game on his stream, and we were making a joke of that fight because every single time that he would use concentration and be at like the worst possible time because I would attack him and then he'd use concentration and then I'd just heal so having the exact amount of health I'm coming into here with um, our health agility it actually makes it possible for this fight to be done without being absolutely demolished. <clears throat> and just land this attack, and of course I don't. And because he has anti-pain, he heals. But now I'm not blind, and he's dead. I will, I will bet that I will get lost in here. So 91 agility, I will be able to outpace I think almost everything in this section except for like two enemies. <clears throat> Which, this is one of them. I thank you for adding an extra input. I mean, I need the health, but I, I was going to get it back.
I'll probably die during this fight. So basically the enemies I need to be able to outpace are these. Which is why I'm at 91 agility. Oh, and don't forget about psychosocial. Um, yeah, that move is going to be a pain in the ass. Psychosocial. Um, increases your damage output. As you're clearly seeing, I'm taking an insane amount of damage. And he will use it. He, he uses it. And why does Southern Cross suck? Because it has a chance for me to not attack the turn afterward. And that's why my, um... And that's why my Nervous Breakdown needs to land a uh, week. Otherwise, I basically die, as you see right there. If it doesn't land weak, I basically die. So what I'm going to do, actually, is get into a fight so that I can have near max health, because that was an issue. This thing I outpace just enough. But don't quite kill. Brain Blue will kill after the um. Afterwards. And we will increase our attack. Oh, yeah, the uh. the enemy. the enemies are really nice. And of course, I go into this fight with like no health because that's what a speedrunner does, right? So he should use Psychosocial this turn. Good, we got on the first attack. He should use Psychosocial, I, sh I should say. Uh, he uses that, okay. Well, that's not a bad thing. I find it funny, I never used Aura during my casual playthrough. Like, ever. So we're gonna heal our health. Because as you see, uh, weak is just putting in its work, honestly. Doing its damage. That'll probably kill. Oh, it didn't. Sweet. As you see, since Spirit Thorn is doing so much damage, um, I have to heal. Quite often. And Brain Blue kills. And that's why this section is so scary. Exactly, barely made it. And most of the enemies here will basically kill you if they get the chance. And of course we get hit with blind. That missed. Oh, guard. Of course. Of course we get hit with Dizzy. 
means I can't heal. So we'll just use Nervous Breakdown to kill. And I think I made a wrong turn. I did. So as you, as you probably have guessed, I have to fight the uh, all the blue cogs. That didn't land. And I don't have to fight the green ones, I just fight them for experience. Because as you've clearly seen, experience is extremely vital. Yeah, I don't need I don't need the agility anymore. Well, yeah, to outpace this, yeah. But um, for the last boss of this area, I don't need it. I have just enough. Honestly, 95 is all I need to be able to beat the uh, the final boss. The final, final boss. Um, I think 112 outpaces every single enemy. I think. I'm not 100% sure. Oh yeah, you can also get encounters on the ladders. I forgot about that. A week is actually perfect in this situation. <clears throat> oh, but I'm blind, so... Doesn't matter too, too much, unless I land this. Oh, I did. Huh. Okay, so let me increase my attack. That's basically what we're going to be doing in this whole section, is just increasing our attack. My agility is high enough for every single thing in this area. Got weak on it, perfect. That does a lot of damage. He's gonna use Psychosocial this turn, I think. No, he... What the hell does that do? That's odd, I've never seen him use that. He has actually, in all my time of playing this game, he has never used that attack. We're gonna heal because he'll probably use slice if I don't. No, he's psycho. Psychological, sorry, not psychosocial. <laughs> Southern Cross. This will come now. And that's probably the most annoying thing, is that you can basically get encounters as soon as you enter areas. Almost like HP. Speaking of HP, I do plan on returning to that game. Because... why not? You know? So, the race, um, is not being done because, of course, like everything, I had something come up. Um, I will talk to, um, Conception and see when we can try to set up another one. Having something come up at this point is pretty much the story of my life. Use concentration. Sweet. Um, tree necklace. I don't think I've ever seen that one. And if I have, it was a long time ago. <laughs> don't hit me with blind. Son of a... Mm. Okay. 
Oh, he got hit by it. Sweet. And got landed with weak. Perfect. Oh, sweet Dizzy. That's exactly what I wanted to see. This enemy sucks because it, it can cast you with weak. <laughs> Invert doesn't matter here. But, I didn't save past this enemy, did I? I did not. So the thing about, um, weak is that it never goes away, unlike other status ailments. So if it hits you or it hits an enemy, it will stay with them for the rest of the fight. Psychological heal. that. I th I'm gonna be safe. I'm gonna let him take another turn of weak damage before I try to do anything. This should knock him out. There we go. Alright, we are going to boost my attack, and boost my speed, and then save. So I don't have to do that fight again. Same thing, same enemy. Don't land blind, please, thank you. Hit you with nice breakdown. He guards. I guard. He attacks. I don't have a choice, I can't heal. Oh god, this enemy sucks. Anyway, I will be going back to HP at some point. Um... Colorful crest. I don't remember ever getting that either. Um, since there is a new strat because of the select glitch. Um, but within that, do expect about 400,000 more resets. HP2.
but because of the select glitch, the run will be a lot more difficult. Um, since I am putting so much time into the task, I'm actually using the task to understand the, uh, how that route's gonna end up looking. And believe you me, I am not excited about it, but I want to see how good of a time I can get with it. Dizzy, 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 that is not what we want to see. And maybe it'll motivate me to do the task. Who knows? Only time will tell, right? You need to be all like, why are you not increasing your health? Because I don't really need health for this next fight. I just need pure damage. Because as we all know, the best defense is a good offense. Full Moon Necklace. Actually, I don't even think I have the item in order to be able to do, um... I missed. I don't even think I have the item to be able to do ending 3 anyway. <laughs> now that I think about it, honestly. Actually, I probably could have healed instead of doing what I just did. Glad that killed. I'll just heal health for the hell of it. I've defeated two blue cogs, so I don't think I need to go in that direction. Oh, this thing still outpaces me. Huh. That's crazy. We're gonna heal. Not many things do that anymore. Of course we land Dizzy, because... Why not? This has a chance not to kill because of the- ooh. Sweet. I'll be at max health going into the next fight. So the reason why this section sucks is because the enemies are, of course, they have the strongest enemies here because this is the second to last area. And why did it register? Oh, that's so frustrating. I need to get a brain blue going. But because I'm so low on health, we're gonna heal. This won't kill from this health, but if invert lands were doomed. There's another blue cog I could go use, or not blue, another green cog I could use, but I'm not going to go do it. Did I, did I just miss out on the stupid thing I was supposed to go to? I think I did. Wow, that was actually a really, really, really low roll. We're gonna heal. Even though we would kill with the normal attack, we're gonna heal here. Yep. Because I knew that would happen. <laughs> I 
Yep, I did the wrong thing. Sweet. So we are going to increase health, increase attack, and go from there. I also don't even remember what the hell item I'm using is. Oh, I'm using the stupid, um... Uh, uh, experience thing. Oh, sweet. Brain blue kills. He's gonna use Bloodway, which is good and bad, because it does a lot of damage, but... Uh, that heals just enough health, I think. <laughs> to where I have to use that. Oh, no, that's just to fight that thing. Well, I'm an idiot. Nice. Nice going to SMP. Might as well just fight it since I'm here. Right. Right. That attack didn't matter. I don't even remember what the tree necklace does. But like I said, I don't even think I got the item that I would need to beat ending three. So... Oh, th this is this is what I use the whole run. Um, basically, once I get Nervous Breakdown, the whole thing changes. Um, if we did ending three, what would change is the layout of, um, it wouldn't be new skills, it would be new, it would be a new layout of my, uh, my thing. Okay, so I don't have, I didn't have to go pull the lever, which is kind of annoying. Good, we got hit with blind. That's exactly what I want to see. Good, it landed. I don't want this to land. Please don't land. Thank you. He's gonna guard, which means this probably won't kill. Yeah, I figured. Nightmare. This is that can land dizzy. That doesn't matter. So I didn't go pull that lever at all. I am I am on it. Don't land. Good. He's gonna guard this turn. That had a super small chance of killing. It needed to roll, I think, a 50 to kill. But it didn't land it, so... Alright, we're gonna save here. I'll put one more agility point. That's to guarantee that I uh, outpace everything here. Oh, 
did not get weak to land, that's not good. And after this turn, I outpaced him again, so I have a second chance for weak to land, I did not. That's a very strong attack. That did not kill, which is good. Beautiful. I'm about to do something where you're going to be like, well, why haven't you been doing this before? I could have healed with the Joy Flower. <laughs> this whole time, but I didn't. Oh good, weak is exactly what I need. He's going to heal. I needed that for that section to be safe. I'm gonna fight this. This will be the last thing I fight, probably. I think with as high as my, uh... uh that's probably not high enough. We'll try. Oh, sweet. Well, that has a lot of force. It's actually super good. This is... Oh, We're gonna spread it like that. Get into one more fight. And that's that. I don't need the 100 agility, actually. The max I would... That's only to outpace stuff, but... Outpacing this is super overrated. The thing I hate about this fight is it actually sits and thinks about what it's gonna do. It doesn't actually always attack immediately. And I hate that about this fight. He like sits and thinks, am I gonna use Spirit Thorn? Am I gonna use Spirit Thorn? Am I gonna use Spirit Thorn? <laughs> then he lands weak, of course he does. <clears throat> so what I'm doing now is I'm basically just gonna let Weak do its uh, do its damage. Instant rain. So this is kind of cheap, but that's why I need to get weak as fast as possible. Concentration's good, so while his attacks will do some more damage, it actually gives me a free time to attack. And because I outpaced him that turn, I actually... Now, I don't need to invert the lands. Sweet. Basically, if that's how you want to look at it, I don't know if I outpace he died on okay. He needs to use uh, he doesn't need to land invert. Please don't land invert. Um we're going to be safe and heal one more time. <laughs> Good he used concentration. And this should kill. Oh boy. Oh but I outpace again. Sweet. Alright. So that's that fight down. <laughs> I 
and this is the fine and this will be a change to my um, my layout this is going to be my first change to my layout since uh, I got nervous breakdown <laughs> you know over an hour ago so the story behind Alice is, um, she committed suicide by jumping into this pit because, um, her mother died and her father was abusing her. Um, so, Guillermo, who is this kid with the little hat, uh, brings you back to life, but it brings unbalance into the world because you're not supposed to bring stuff back to life that's dead. So there are three endings to this, and I won't spoil the other two, but in this one, the one I'm doing is the fastest. Um, where you basically sacrifice yourself to restore balance to the uh, the world here. And right here is where you get all your memories. So if I was doing, if I was going to be doing the final fight, I would be investing a lot of stuff in the health here. But because I am not, um, I'm going to be investing it all in agility. And you're gonna be wondering why I'm investing into agility in just a second. Um, I do not intend... It's going to take me a while to actually want to do the final fight. Um, the true final boss. That's, of course, ending three, as I've been alluding to. But everything's going to be thrown into agility here. If I was doing ending three, it would be thrown all into health. I'd be having more health than I would be um, pretty much any other stat at this point in time. So I'm also going to be saving here because I don't, <laughs> um, I don't want to accidentally pick the wrong thing. Because there's a couple choices here, and if you don't, cho if you choose the wrong choice, then you're locked out of ending one. So technically these splits could work for ending two as well, so... So I would just ne rename the, uh, the last split instead. This section's annoying as hell. Um, by like a lot. Because... It just believe me it is. Alright, so we're going to throw all this into agility. That should help me outpace everything in this section. Um, we're going to save here. Um, I think it's this one. Nope, I chose the wrong one. Okay. It's the second one. I 
There we go. Okay. So like I said, if I was doing the norm, if I was doing the final boss thing, I would be, um... That all would have gone into health and not agility. Because I don't need all the agility that I have. This is the agility is seriously just to outpace everything. And I still think even with all this agility I don't outpace every single thing in this section. But I'm pretty sure 120 outpaces most of the stuff in this section. Um, the downside to fleeing is that you lose one-tenth of your health, but considering that I'm only going to be fleeing and you get health back every time you go into a fight, if I outpace everything I won't take any damage. So you'll see that I have to go interact with all these green cogs. Um, if you do any of the other endings, then... Um, they'll have extra text, but because you're doing this one, you, uh, don't have any extra text pop up. <laughs> oh yeah, that 120 was exactly enough. Because 120 is the speed of that bat, and if you have equal... Um, if you have equal speed, then... then you outpace it by default. And this is the end of the run. Just gonna go through this dialogue. This took a lot longer than I expected. Wait, what'd I do? Did I do the wrong thing? It's because I was pressing the wrong button. This is so annoying. I have to do that section again. That's what I get for out, uh, doing what I did. That's alright. It helped me practice that section. My bad. This is why I'm just going to spam enter. So you get to see this section again. You also notice um, the way I position myself in this area uh, when I go to these little spots where I jump. Um, you can't land just on them to do it. You actually have to run into them the way I just did. All right. Well, now I know that 120 is the magic number for outpacing stuff in this section. I am pretty happy with that. That is a good fact to know. I hate the encounters. Oh, this thing also has 120 speed. That's good to know. So there are two enemies that can outpace you if you have 105 speed. Everything else is slower than you. I 
I can tell about how much agility I need. Um. Alright, well, now the run's over. Now that I know that... I don't need to be mashing zero, I just need to be mashing enter. But yeah, so... Will I do another run of this right now? No. I have to get... I have to be ready for work in two hours, and I can't sit here and do another two hour run. And also, um, if I do ending 3, my route would be a little bit different. But it wouldn't be much different. I would just be doing something in the early game. That I, that I didn't do here. And that's it. <clears throat> the split, the final split's a little bit late, but that's all right. So, as you can probably assume, this run can be a lot, 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 lot faster. <laughs> and I'll probably do, the next time I stream, I'll probably do another run of this.